going to teach you the ECG basics and heart blocks in under 60 seconds. Okay, so here you have the ECG strip, the PQRST complex that corresponds to the heart's electrical conduction and activity. So we know our heart has four chambers, two on top, atria A, and two on the bottom, ventricles V. What's in between the AV valves? Okay, so blood comes into the right atrium from the vena cava or into the left atrium from the pulmonary veins and it squeezes, depolarizes, that's P, okay? Then what happens? Well, the blood goes through into the ventricles and the ventricles have to contract to further squeeze the blood and they depolarize and that's what you see in the QRS complex. Now, if something depolarizes or squeezes, it has to repolarize or relax and that's the T wave you see there. It's the ventricles repolarize. Okay, so to memorize the heart blocks, we're concerned with the P wave and the R wave and specifically the interval, which is conveniently named the PR interval. So if your R is far from your P, you get first degree. That is your PR interval is greater than 0.2 seconds. Now if your PR interval gets longer, longer, longer than drops, well, you got Wankbach. Now if some P's don't get through, you get Mobitz type two, as in the third P here. Now if the P's and Q's don't agree, you have type three. As you can see here, the P wave isn't followed by a Q wave. So the H are contracting and there's no subsequent ventricular contraction. There you have it.